Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Sam. And I'm Melissa. Today we wanted to answer a question that was asked on our uh, comments about a little bit more about the raid on Texas. Yeah, uh, for those yeah. of you who, some of you have probably heard, some of you pro probably hadn't heard, but in 2008 um, there was a raid by the government on a ranch that Warren just had started in Texas. Mm -hmm. And I guess to get started with that, what, I know it was Warren who started that ranch, is that right? Yes. Okay, so what did he tell the people of Colorado City? Like, why was he starting, why did he move people to Texas? Yes, yeah, so it was in preparation, and for those of you that don't know, uh, in this ranch, it was a big gated off slash big Compound. Like, compound, right? yeah. It was a, I don't know exactly how big it was. It was huge, though. You can look up some pictures. I think when I looked it up, it was like 2,400 acres or something. Okay. Don't quote me on that, yeah. but it was like big. Like they had their own granary. They had, yeah, they had a lot. Or silo, I mean. They had a lot there. They had like a, a storehouse and all that. And then they had a big block wall around the entire area. Uh, they had houses and, and uh, like you said, granary, that, that type of thing. And they also had uh, a temple. And that was the one of the big and main purposes of this of this compound was the temple. And you can also look up pictures and see a little bit more. I believe we have one here as well about how that temple looked. So that is uh, that was the main purpose of it, and and it was in in preparation to return and meet God. So who you're kind of telling me earlier, like, yeah. so who got to go mm -hmm. to like did people. Was it the just for people that were already in Texas, or was it like people transferring, moving from Utah, Colorado City, Hilldale to so Texas? Until this, until this place was built, or until they started building this place, no one lived in Texas. It was it was people from Colorado, Hilldale City. I don't know if any of them from Canada came down or not. I don't know for sure, but especially the ones from Canada or <laughs> from Colorado City and Hilldale. Um, they were called, and they would actually call it that. They would say, you are called from God. It's a calling to go and build Zion, which is the ranch. They, that's what they call the ranch in Texas, uh, to build Zion and to return um, in, in preparation for uh, the second coming and to meet God. Did Warren ever say, because for those of you who are familiar with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, um, they have you know, a lot of temples, like mm -hmm. almost 200 temples um, all over the place. Did did Warren ever say why there wasn't already a temple, like in Colorado? Like, why didn't they already have one in Hilldale, and why was it only in Texas that there was supposed to be this temple? Um, well, as, was, as I was told, it's because uh, God finally said that there are people that are righteous enough to start building um my house which was the okay. temple so it was a worthiness thing like worthiness nobody there thing. nobody in utah it, was worthy <laughs> until that point right okay but it was it was uh, a very secretive interesting thing going on i had uh some of my family members that were called to go and be a part of this the building the building of the location and all of that uh, a brother a sister uh, a couple of my own siblings were called. Now, when they went and how they went and what they did there, I, I guess I guess I wasn't righteous enough to ever know those things. I, I wasn't told, and uh, most of the people that I know were never really told and knew exactly what was going on other than they were called to Zion. They were called to go, and I guess they were worthy enough to help build this place. Okay, so how many of, like, so Warren had, like, so many wives. Mm -hmm. So he had a ton of family. Um, was all of his family moved to Texas? Or did he have, like, wives over here, wives over there? Or No, no, no. They did not all go. Okay. Only his worthy wives? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Only the really cute ones. No, no. I don't know how that worked, honestly. Okay. I don't know how that worked, but I do know that there were people that would go and then come back. Mm. I thought maybe it was because, well, at first I thought maybe they went there and they weren't actually righteous enough, so they were sent back. But I was also told that they went and did what they were supposed to do. They completed their mission there, and then they were to go back. 
but they never really would talk about it. Even the people mm. that came back wouldn't talk about it that much. It was kind of a secretive little thing. And, 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 and honestly, for someone living in there, I, I almost felt like I was, I don't know, I felt a little guilty that I, maybe I wasn't a good enough person because I didn't, I wasn't in on, I wasn't in on this information. I wasn't sure, I, I wasn't aware of what was going on. All I knew is that there was a temple being built and it was for those that were worthy enough to go and, and be a part of it. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. So then, yeah. so it was being built. It was built. The mm-hmm. temple was built and completed. And then the raid happened. And I don't, I believe it had been built for quite some time. Uh, I don't know exactly how much, but yes. And then we get word. Yeah. That, I was going to say, what was the reaction? Like, how did you guys hear about there being a raid? What were you told about it? So obviously I didn't hear it from the news. <laughs> I didn't watch TV or really uh, get that type of information. So I was told by locals and, and members of the church out there that the law enforcement was attacking the religion once again. And of course they blamed it on Satan, that, uh, that, 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 that Satan is working so hard against the people of God. And so, and so it was Satan getting into people's minds and hearts and, and, and forcing them to go after them and try to destroy all this work of God that they had been doing. Uh, yeah, so, so it was, but it was a shock. Uh, in fact, personally, I, I was kind of surprised. I was like, how would, how would something so important and how would something that had been designed for so many years and finally there was people that were worthy enough, how could God just let them go in and destroy it? You know, I, so I was kind of, I was kind of shocked and taken back by it a little bit. But then part of the religion as a whole, which is also similar to LDS history, is mm-hmm. that believing that persecution is showing your faith right. and your diligence and, and and it comes down to that and that and they did mention that 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 was part of their test and yeah and, part of trials right yeah. to be able yeah. to like prove your worthiness and to prove yeah, yeah to prove and, yourself and like so many other thing other things in life uh, my my father for example would will often say those exact words that he, if he's going going through a really difficult time or a very hard trial he will just say it's just it's my turn time to prove myself it's a trial that God gave me and I and I can prove myself as did Job in the Bible and uh, and stay faithful throughout it and that's kind of the that's, that's their out their 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 view of any type of trial or hard time in life yeah Wow yeah okay so you heard from church leaders that it happened <clears throat> did people after the raid did they come back to Utah in Arizona or like how did that work like because from what I had read about it from the outside, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. kids were being separated from their it parents. Was a sad, it was sad. It was sad. Yeah, I, and I, all sorts of stuff like that. I, I won't, I, I don't know for sure if there was anything going on there that was completely, I don't know. Like I said, it was kind of a secretive thing. I don't know exactly what was going on there, but any information that I gathered, I didn't, I didn't know of anything really bad going on. So it was very sad to see families being ripped apart, children being taken away from their parents, and all of that. And 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 whether or not they deserved it, you know, I mean, the, of course the children didn't deserve it, but whether or not the the parents were were doing something wrong, doing something wrong, probably wasn't anything to do with the parents. It was probably just the leaders out there forcing these parents to do things, if there was anything going on like that. But. But it was very sad, and even from an outsider, I'm sure when you saw it, um, it was sad to see that oh, yeah. happen to, to to families. Well, and I just when we were going to start making this video, um, you know, it'd been a long time, so I was kind of reading up to refresh, mm-hmm. and um, some interesting things that I learned too was that even though someone had like called in a tip that there was some kind of abuse, they later found out the person calling the tip, um, like, wasn't actually like she said it was yeah it was like a false tip like Mm. she said she was a 16 year old girl that lived there that was being abused and they found out that it was like an older woman that was not 16 and um things that like led into that they said they found no physical abuse um no like a Mm -hmm. lot of the allegations were proven wrong until they found out about the child brides right so you know the teenage girls being married to the older men and mm-hmm. that's I think what ended up being what separated the children because obviously that's still something very serious that as a society too we take very mm-hmm. seriously right the protection of kids in that way mm-hmm. but the way that like the media portrayed it as being other types of abuse um, 
wasn't necessarily accurate. Right. So well, and media tends to blow things out of the water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> generally. Yeah. And, but seeing and, kids like separated, like I think they were only allowed to keep their kids if they're 18 months or younger. So like two mm-hmm. and three girls were being taken, yeah. which was and, super. And sad. you can you can see videos of it. There are videos. Yeah. Uh, out there uh, based on this event. When they were reunited yeah. with their families, did they come back to Utah or did they? As far as I am aware, yes. Uh, okay. um, I don't know for sure though. I, from what I heard, there were some homes and things that where people were living in Texas that were not actually in the compound. So, so some of them stayed behind and whether or not they came back later, I don't know because it was shortly after this event that I actually moved out as well. So I moved out in towards the end of 2008 and this happened in 2008 2008 yeah so so it was it was right around that same time so what what happened you know several months or a year after this I don't know I I don't know for sure well our baby just woke up from his nap we can hear him so So our video we'll leave it there but if you have any more questions um please leave them in the comments if you like these type of videos please like and subscribe and we will talk to y'all soon we'll talk to you soon